All right. Okay. I don't know what the heck happened, but we're back. Sweet. So, is it official that we're Spurs against Wickham? Spurs at Wickham Wonders. At Wickham. All right. Here we go. All bottom right. Bottom of the championship. The bottom of the championship. All right. So, okay, we're going to be live in like a second and a half. Ready? Cool. Yep. All right, everyone. So sorry about all that. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, while my mug looked like I was confused out of my mind, we disappeared. So we're back, though, with Dakota, and we're live. Martin Tyler, uh, James Watson, thank you for that. Uh, and yeah, I can Fenwa. We've got Wickham. It's gonna be that's gonna be an interesting game. What do you think about that? Yeah, uh, you know, it's very favorable for us. Totally, They're bottom of the championship right now. Um, so it seems like they're going to be, you know, if I were them, I would be more focused on staying up totally in the championship rather than, you yeah. know, an FA Cup tie. Right. So hopefully that that uh, bodes well for us. Uh, I just saw that we've played at Wickham one time in our history. Oh, okay. Also in the FA Cup fourth round, uh, we needed a 97th minute uh, young men's son goal to win 4-3. Oh, so fingers crossed that it's not that when stressful. When was that? <laughs> what year was that? I feel like I remember this. Uh, this is a couple of years ago now? Uh, twenty. I think it's a 2015, 2015? maybe. 2015? So that would have been Sun's probably first season or so. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, hopefully it doesn't need to be that that long until Sun scores. Uh, and Sun is on fire right now. So I imagine he will be just fire. fine. Really quick, I've got an audio that was sent in by none other than Matt Hayes, so I definitely want to play it. Uh, here's what Matt Hayes had to say about who he supports. Hi, Anthony. Matt Hayes here. Um, with regards to the teams outside of the Premier League that I support, I wouldn't say I support any, but I have a soft spot for... Um, it's a weird Joe. It's Plymouth Argyle in, in the League Plymouth One and Chongqing Dangdai Lifan in, oh. in the Chinese Super League. Um, yeah, I used to be dude. a data collection agent. By the way, for, uh, I'm sorry, Dakota, because I don't know if you can hear this, but he just said a, a Chinese team that I don't I don't know who it is, <laughs> but he support he uh, used to to uh, and he doesn't really support the teams that, that I was assigned to cover. Um, right, so I think right. we always have a, a bit of a soft spot for for whatever teams you do. Yeah, um, I've been fired. Um, <laughs> I've got a promotion, so I don't do games anymore. But yeah, Plymouth and Chongqing would, would be my my two choices for that one. Plymouth, and it sounded like he said Changshin, and that's awesome, dude. Like I literally know nobody uh, in in the Chinese leagues except for like pl like certain individual players. Do you know anyone in right. any of the Chinese leagues? N I not not a single person. Uh, except is Hulk still playing? Uh, that is a great question. <laughs> in China, <laughs> if he's still playing, then yes, I do know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but and we China. know Musa, uh, Musa, right? Didn't Dembele go there? Musa Dembele. Yep. 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 So, uh, but other yeah. than that, I can't know. And that's Iniesta, the, the, Iniesta as well. Ah, uh, yeah. God, so, how do we forget about Iniesta? I know. I know. Well, it's because we have Wink Siesta and Miniesta. <laughs> yeah, Miniesta. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we also asked who took their chance against Marine. And a lot of people said the same, mm. uh, a lot of the same thing. So, I'm just going to read maybe one or two of them. Uh, Jinty said it had to be Big Vinny. The guy needs some game time against smaller teams so he can rest Kane and has proven in the Europa League that he's, uh, uh, in two, that he is a good backup. He's a real good poacher style and makes good runs. A lot of people said Vinny. Some people said Roden, Delhi, uh, obviously Alfie, um, with his goal. Yeah. And, um, An unreal goal. Unreal, yeah. Dude, it's going to be... I want to talk to you about him in just a second. But, okay, so mm -hmm. the two that I think are kind of questionable that I've seen on here is Harvey White and Roden. And and even Delhi. what did you think of their play? Yeah, uh, you know, I was... I think Harvey White had a really good performance, but it was one that went under the radar. Yeah. Which, you know, as we've seen we're in this system, there's a lot of times that PEH will have a great game. And yeah no one will even notice him right not really paying attention <laughs> so i think it's yeah. kind of the same thing he mm -hmm. had 101 touches yesterday and 88 percent uh pass completion mm -hmm. um you know created two chances so yeah he, he was definitely involved in the game i was glad he got 90 yeah um and you know with with the reports coming out today that uh, valencia wants 
once Harry Winks for the rest of the season. Oh yeah. That says to me, that says to me that maybe Harvey White is going to get bumped up to, to the first team to fill that to fill that void. Totally. Um, cuz it doesn't really seem like we're going to have the money to go out and buy somebody else. Yes. Um as of yeah, right I now. So, I don't think we're bringing I don't think we're bringing anyone in. Um Yeah. But I I would, unless we sell Delhi, which after after the game yesterday, Jose said he he liked what he saw from Delhi and I did too. He ran that game from midfield, which you would you hope he would do. Yeah, like, right. right. It was, <laughs> you know what? He reminded me of like Kobe Bryant or like, um, what was his, uh, what was his name? Another point guard. I just felt like every, it was just get the ball to Delhi and yep. then like see what happens. And, exactly. and he did, he did some cool stuff. I, I saw, I think he was like chirping at one of the neighbors. Uh, like somebody was like messing with him or whatever. And he turned and talked and I'm just like, Delhi is always Delhi. Like he will. He will yes. always engage in that way. And and there was uh there was another moment, I don't know if it was with the captain or something like that, where they're kind of pushing and shoving a little bit. Really quick, I've mm-hmm. got VAR in the chat. Just I think this is the fifteenth time. We've got Wickham for the fourth round in either Everton or Nottingham in the fifth round. Gotcha. Yep. We 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 are excited for that and feeling like pretty confident for that for sure. I love that it's VAR, by the way. <laughs> like that's just like just <laughs> saying the same thing over and over. It's like we're watching the replay. Uh yes, we definitely uh have seen that. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to like so when I watched White, I felt like yeah, I felt like he did a lot of the like the the easy stuff, the normal stuff, the stuff he should be doing, but then like taking like the free kick and there was a, there was a cross that was a little like out of control. Although yeah. to be honest, like Matt Doherty made some wacky crosses as well. So <laughs> I, I don't want to say too much bad. And he's a young kid, but I just, yep. I, I wonder like when I see that, I, I start to get like anxiety, like, Oh man, we're going to have another Harry Winks in the sense that he's like, yeah. really, he's like, Winks is a great player. I think he's premier league level. But sometimes he's like, and I've said it this way that I think he's so spurs he he does too much. Like he's like I want to just I want to score the goal, and he takes a you know a thirty yarder, and you're like, buddy, yeah. just I just deliver it, you know. So yeah, the the thing that I consistently hear from people who pay a lot of attention to the youth sit, mm-hmm. the youth setup is that Harvey Harvey White is by far the best set piece taker mm-hmm. at the club. Interesting. So I don't. I think yesterday, you know, like you said, that set piece cross and then yeah. he hit the wall. Yep. Uh, I maybe this, you know, it's his first first uh, match, and also the pitch. Like I want to give him match. give him some yeah. of that. Like yeah. you just don't totally. know. Um, it's not the same when and the bodies are bigger. I'm I'm assuming. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, like, sure. like, dude, I don't know how old he is, but if like Alfie's sixteen, he's not he's not staring down like you know, mo- monsters in, in defense and stuff like that. Right. So uh, you probably over, <laughs> overcompensating for a, a couple things. So, yeah, I, I, I think sure. that that was good. I thought, I, I feel like, do you think we'll, um, we'll purchase Vinicius? No, no, I don't think we will. I don't think we will. Do, uh, see, I do. Th- go ahead. Go ahead. I think we're going to, I think we're going to loan somebody else again in next year. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Vinicius again. Um, but I, it's, I, people might not like what I have, I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it. Yeah. Uh, Troy Parrott's not the guy. Yeah. He's not, he's not the guy. Um, Dane Scarlett is the guy and mm-hmm. he's only 16 years yeah. old. So I think he's going to get a loan next year and I think we're going to loan somebody in to be a stopgap. And mm-hmm. then I think, uh, when, when Dane Scarlett is that late 17, 18 years old, he's going to start being on the bench for the first team and yeah. he's going to get his shot. Um, so, yeah, I, I have to agree with you. I, I just don't know. I don't know about parrot. I, I don't know enough. And, but, but from his loan and stuff like that, it just doesn't seem like he's doing a lot. Um, I know he's he been had, injured a lot. Yeah. He had and... an injury um, that kept him out, but yeah, Dean Scarlett looked, looked uh pretty incredible for a 16 year old kid and so does alfie which yeah. so i saw this on on twitter alex who was in the previous chat um who's at crying son on twitter he mentioned he wants he wants to see dane scarlet succeed more than alfie because alfie is a former liverpool kid and, and he imagines that <laughs> once this guy you know once this guy makes it he's gonna force a move 
to to Liverpool and make all his dreams come true. I don't know. I, I don't know if the kid has even said that he's like a Liverpool fan or something right. like that. But but what do you think about that? Do you think? I mean, I, I you just hope they succeed. I feel like Daniel Levy, he'll just yeah. leverage that and say like, yeah, dude, he's homegrown. He's ours. You owe us like, I don't know, $100 million for this kid. I don't know. Who knows what players will cost by the time uh, he's right. going to be that age to be sold. <laughs> yeah, no, I I totally agree. You know, if he can if he can play for us until he's 21 or 22 yeah. and just bag goals right. and do what he did. Trophy. And then we can sell him for a hundred and yeah. twenty million. I don't care. Bring right. it. Let's go. Yeah. Bring me the trophies and all the cash. Yeah. Personally, I feel the same way about that. And um, so yeah, I thought he he played well. Obviously, what a cool like stat moment history. You know, to be able to yeah. be the youngest player to score. Um, and he looked like a baby, dude. Like when you saw the replays of his face, I'm like. Oh my gosh, you look like a porcelain doll. Like just like like just so much life in those cheeks and and no uh yep. no wrinkles on that face. Um Yeah. So I don't think I can say on air what I was doing when I was 16 years old, but I can <laughs> say it was not what yeah, Alfie Divine was doing at 16. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Absolutely right about that. I was just a punk kid. Um yeah, and then what is what were your thoughts about Roden? Because I'll just just to say this, I felt like Roden reminds me of the kid on the varsity team that's just like really excited to be on varsity. But like, yeah. dude, chill out. Like you're here, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know. He's right. like trying too hard or something like and and I don't know if it's just because of his stature, like he's a big dude. And so when he runs into people, it looks like a lot. But yeah, I just feel like you know calm down you're here like everyone gets like you're you're part of this team and i i think that's probably why jose wanted him he's kind of got this like tenacity wants to do well but yeah mm -hmm. i just felt like is i don't know I, I i wanted to see a little more calm from him he made some great blocks though so what were your thoughts yeah yeah he definitely has that energy that he plays with and i think it is kind of an excitement that that will be toned down as yeah. he gets more comfortable i think yeah. you're you're spot on there that he's uh he was just hyped up for the occasion which yeah. is cool that he can get hyped up for playing an eighth tier side in i know the fa cup right um you know watching him at swansea he he did have a coolness on the ball mm -hmm. uh never felt like he was gonna lose it or get dispossessed really easily mm -hmm. um i think he still has a, a tendency to and i'm interested to see how it'll work in the system as he keeps playing yeah to get uh, maybe a little frustrated is the word. Yes. Uh, with a, a slow pace, and he mm -hmm. he'll he'll boot a ball. Yeah. Uh, just to get something hap to uh -huh. happen. Uh, so I, I'm interested to see how that'll that'll happen. But I, I do like that tenacity. Yeah. Just hopefully he can he can control it a yeah. little bit better. Like and you were he's saying. young, and and I do feel like yeah. I can maybe understand right. Like he he's not on the Europa League. He's only going to get so many chances. Uh, and mm -hmm. this is one of those chances to play. I'm a, I'm with you. I, I like I like how seriously uh, I felt the whole team took took the game uh, yesterday. Yeah, very so. professional. Yep, totally. All right, cool. So uh, the last question we had was who makes your starting eleven against? Initially, I had said Aston Villa, but now we're talking Fulham. Uh, I I imagine though a lot of the people they'd have the same comments uh, for Fulham as they would for Villa. Uh, so here's what yeah. some people said. Ginty said, "If the game goes ahead, uh, I think Jose will put out our strongest eleven, despite their side being depleted." This is of course against Villa. Um, Ryan said, "The team we played, the team we play with most like most of the time, probably." Which I just love. I love comments <laughs> like that so much. Like I don't know if you're still watching Ryan because you I knew you were before, but that is that is a true fan of Tottenham Hotspur. Like some people, they're like experts at things and they know exactly who's going to play when, but the normal 11 that will probably play that we usually play is a great fan yeah. answer. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I love it. Techno. I think our normal 11 that was against Leeds, except for left back being Regulon and right back being Aurier. Marcelo said, uh, this was an interesting one. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Marcelo said, Lloris, Regulon, Roden, Dyer, Aurier, Hoybier, Tangi, Sissoko, Sun, Bergwijn, Kane. The big one for me was uh, Roden. And also, um, Regulon. Do you think Regulon gets the start ahead of Davies? 
Uh, I think he does because I think uh, Ben Davis will play uh, at the weekend because we're going to want Sergio Regulon and his speed against Liverpool yeah. next Thursday. Gotcha. So this is this is kind of like a this is a weird lineup prediction for me because yeah. I for for me for and I I doubt Jose is thinking of this or if if he is he's thinking it in a, a much more structured manner. Sure. <laughs> but I'm I'm thinking lineup for Fulham uh-huh. and the lineup for Liverpool, which there's a game in between. Yeah. So uh, there's that kind of throws a wrench for me yeah. because you know basically we have to win this game against Liverpool if we're gonna. For if our little pony is going to stay at the, yeah. the head of the pack, yeah, right. uh, for sure. So I, I, I think Delhi is going to play um, on okay. on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Whether he gets the start or he is the uh, Tongi substitute, that mm-hmm. would normally be Gio. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I don't really think that necessarily matters. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, it's six and one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah. Delhi plays. Yeah. Uh, is is the point? So right. I don't th- I don't think Joe Roden will play on Wednesday. Yeah. I would not be surprised if he played at the weekend against uh, Sheffield United. Mm-hmm. Um, you know they are bottom of the table and yeah. are just just they're struggling. awful. They're, they look they yeah, look like the Lions that went zero sixteen is what they look like. <laughs> yeah. That's what they look like. Yeah, and the. And their problem is scoring goals. Yeah. So uh, if you want somebody to play and get some confidence, get some yeah. minutes under their belt, uh, and their position is defense playing yeah. against a team that is having trouble scoring goals is a yeah. good opportunity. So I, I think we'll see a strong 11. I think sure. Sonny and Kane will get back in. Okay. Um, uh, depending on his availability, Eric Lamella might might play. He mm-hmm. may still be in the big doghouse, though. Yeah. Um, or maybe he has COVID. We don't really know for yeah, sure. Yeah, dude. Dude, it's so interesting about uh, Lamella. Before before I get touch on that, yeah. Matt Hayes just commented. He said, just listen back to my bit. Yes, Hulk still plays with Shanghai, SIPG. Nice. There's a lot more players you'd know in the Chinese Super League than you might realize. Um, well, I'm sure there is. It's, it's like... I don't know. Again, and I don't mean to harp on the MLS. Some people love the MLS, but I just feel like, yeah, dude, you just bring in these guys and, and they do bring some crowds and, and it is fun to watch, watch some of these guys play. Um, but, but yeah, it's just, I feel for them though, because I feel like some of those, some of those guys, like they, they should have eyes on them, you know, like they should be able to be watched, uh, by, by all. And, and so anyway, but, um, so going back to this though, I, so yeah, I'm with you. I don't think Roden plays, um, against Fulham. I just don't think, I don't think Jose, uh, trusts him enough. And I think he respects Fulham enough to say like, Hey, I, you know, I think we won, what was it? One nil, um, yeah. against them the last time. And so, um, that's one thing. And then in terms of Regulon and Davies, I know, and I've, I've said this before in a previous video, and I, I got laughed at, and it's okay. It's just my opinion. I feel like Ben Davies is ahead of Regulon. And I, I, I think that because of his consistency. Uh, I know that that uh, Regulon is um, he's quicker. I know that in terms of potential, his his rise is going to be probably meteoric. He, he's he looks like yeah. he's got talent, talent to burn. I mean, it's just insane. But he's he he's just a little spark plug. Like sometimes I think he 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 overcommits or he does something cheeky, and, and it's it's just. I like gentle Ben. I just like trusting a guy to do his job. Um, and yes, I know every once in a while, I would say twice a season, Ben Davies makes a mistake that costs us a goal. It, I just, it just seems like he'll slip or trip and, and something happens, but I trust Ben Davies more often than I do Regulon. Um, and I know Regulon is definitely the, the, I don't know much. He's more fun to watch. Uh, I think. Yeah. So you know, I, anyway, I, I think, you know, you're saying that and I'm, I'm, I wonder how much that left back spot is tied to who plays in our double pivot. Oh, um, totally. I haven't, I haven't looked, I haven't done any research, but you know, if, if we're, if we've got the Hoy Bear Sissoko kind of defensive pivot, yep. It makes a whole lot more sense to put Regulon out there where he can get forward because yeah. you know, we've got cover. 
Yeah. Um, in the well, back. it's it's interesting so, you say that because yeah. I was thinking um, after watching the game against Marine, dude, Delhi and and uh, Doherty were were connecting, and and yeah. and Doherty Doherty was not like doing his normal thing. Like he was making some serious runs. Like that volley he did, I was like who's that guy? Like, where have you been? Like, and I don't think, I don't think Jose usually lets them play like that, but it was really fun to watch. Like Delhi just kind of looking for that, that run. And, uh, yeah, I think Dr. really, really struggled this season. Um, and Aurier really stepped up his game, which is great. I, I feel like Aurier is, is my first choice. Um, yep. but yeah, it might be a, a similar thing to that where it's like when it's like Sissoko plays with Aurier, like they just, yeah. they cover each other <laughs> and, yep. and, and maybe, you know, there's something going on on the left side with, with, uh, Regulon and, and, uh, and, and it's a little more dependent on the team, which is what Jose wants. He, he wants a For team. Sure. So I feel good about that. And then, uh, there was one other one here. This was an interesting one and I don't, uh, I don't know what to make of it, but it's it's uh, an interesting idea. So this person says, Larice, Regulon, Dyer, Roden again, uh, Aurier. But here's here's where it gets interesting. Hoybier, Undumbele, Kane, Son, Bergwine, Vinicius. Mm. I don't think it would ever happen in the real world. But yeah. but let's just play hypotheticals here. I mean, he is the assist king right now and he looks a lot like Ericsson but i think what makes i think what makes him be able to do that is his movement he's able to go so far forward he draws you in he moves back and he, you don't know where like do you follow him don't you and that's where it gives on space what right. do you think about that um so there's part of that that i love and that i've been uh kind of pushing for mostly over on the pod spur mm -hmm. uh podcast which but, by the way shout someone... out to podspur tv right that's what you guys are on yes. youtube yeah podspur tv get them some subs um, because I, they got an awesome podcast and uh you can listen to it on like pretty much everywhere right spotify that's where i listen yeah. to it and uh everywhere. but they need some youtube subscribers so get over there support them continue yes. appreciate that yeah um and and a, a little bit on twitter too but i think the next level to our evolution as a counter-attacking team mm -hmm. is Tongi and Dombele playing the eight, uh, playing that, that double pivot next to Pierre Mill okay. I think that is, that, that is going to be the next thing that makes us even more lethal, even more dangerous. Hmm. Uh, I think he's already doing the defensive work playing as yeah. a 10, um, that he would be doing as an eight. He's mm -hmm. just doing it in a different, different space. Um, we're going to be able to get the ball out of any potential uh high press yeah quicker yep. with him playing the eight than than musa mm -hmm. um and then we just launch this legal counter attack of whoever the 10 is uh i would i would pick delhi yeah. personally mm -hmm. and then sun Bergvine, and kane and yeah. those four running at you it's a goal <laughs> Nine <out of> that. <laughs> yeah uh, yeah so so that that part of tongi playing the eight mm -hmm. next to Hoy bear i love mm -hmm. uh I I abhor Harry Kane playing the 10. Yeah. I hate that idea so so much because of the uh, the kilometers that he would put on his legs in oh, a game and yeah. how much defense he would have to be playing, the challenges he would have to put in. Right. I I don't want to put Harry Kane in a position to do that. Um not not regularly. So, I could see it happen yeah. like once in a while, but 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 yeah. on a regular basis, I mean Dude, anytime that guy goes down and holds his ankles, it just everything oh. within me dies. I'm just like, oh, no. do you remember that? The, like, the, like 10 seconds where he yeah, and Sonny were both on the ground. I know, dude. They showed Sun and Sun went down, and I was like, oh no, that's so bad. And then the next <laughs> shot was Kane. And I was like, that is so, that oh. is beyond bad. Um, so fun. Okay. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure the color left my whole yes, body. Exactly. Like, Your face Ooh. was lily white, just like the kit. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, someone, okay. I'm, I'm sure this has to go about Ben Davies. James Watson, Watson says, I won't laugh. I just disagree. You can laugh, bro. It's cool. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's what makes this fun. And I always like to say this in our discord server, in the chat, whatever it might be. Thank you so much for disagreeing. I actually like disagreement. I think it makes it a lot of fun, but, uh, and also thank you for not disparaging and saying you're an idiot. I, I am an idiot, but, uh, it's just a, a culture I'm trying to create on our discord server. 
Reminger, he is consistently bad, if that's what you mean by consistently. Okay. He's consistently average. That's well, fair enough. I don't think, yeah, I don't think he's consistently bad, but he's consistent. Uh, and yeah, maybe average. Uh, ben Davis consistently makes a mistake that leads to a goal in every game, if that's what you mean by consistently. All right, Ravenger, I get it, dude. Uh, Ravenger called me out in the last video or one of my videos because I was ranking like how how the uh, players were doing from like world class to terrible, and I put Ben Davies as good, which was right under world class. And he goes, "Okay, wait a minute." I'm like, all right, dude, relax. <laughs> uh okay so kt says this hi guys great show i think delhi played a lot deeper yesterday and looked good i think jose wanted him to be the playmaker in this match go ahead dakota good observation that's exactly what we were talking about yeah. in the chat yesterday uh over on, on in the pods for whatsapp is mm-hmm. that Delhi looked like he was playing deeper and you know again everything you got to look at this game in a bubble, right? Yeah. Cause we're playing a team that's seven tiers below us. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he, he did it. You, you still yeah. have to go out and perform right? even again, regardless of what the opposition yep. is. And he did that. He played deeper. He, he did what Tongi does. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, for me personally and what I want to happen, mm-hmm. you know, I want to be right about this yeah. so bad. <laughs> so right. to to see Delhi play that uh that 10 role like yeah. Tongi does dropping mm-hmm. back carrying it up and making the plays uh I I loved to see that yeah. so great observation KT I think you're spot on yeah and I agree and I I think I wonder if that's part of this um I feel like Jose's trying to break down Delhi like like yeah, like, totally. like you know like uh what is it like that wild stallion Delhi he's yeah. just like trying to break him <laughs> And then he's going to be like an amazing horse or something like that. Speaking of pony, exactly. uh, <laughs> pony examples yeah. or something <laughs> anyway, but I do, I really do feel like, so he did it with Tangi, uh, and, and it worked. Um, and I, I feel like with Delhi, I wonder if, you know, Delhi under Pochettino was really just kind of allowed to do whatever. I think he was given a lot of free reign and I think Jose doesn't give many people free reign. Like, I don't even think he gives Kane free reign. Like, he probably gives him pretty specific instructions, says, please go do these things and watch us win games. And so Delhi, you know, you know, he loves the nutmeg. He loves, you know, like the little 1v1s, like... I forget Looks what. Yeah, yeah, it's like the the street the street ball kind of stuff, and and it's fun. Yeah. And I remember I I sent one time, actually a friend of mine that lives in Franklin. Um, I've been I've been trying to woo him to Spurs. He doesn't watch any any uh, football at all. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so I sent him this clip of Delhi because he he likes that kind of thing. And in his comment, which was so good, and I love this guy. He's so brutally honest. He goes, uh, "Did a lot of nutmegs that went nowhere." <laughs> just like like they yes he he did a nutmeg but like what happened like nothing happened after that and i think yeah. there's a little bit of that in jose like jose's like yeah do do your do your thing but it's got to be helpful it's got to do something in the end yep. and um so hopefully yeah he, he's probably being asked to to play a little bit deeper and be a part of that build up more than that final uh touch mm. um which I mean, it's Deli Ali. I imagine he loves the glamour. He loves scoring those goals and standing in front of that Chelsea, you know, away fan and just taking that that in. So anyway, I, I know we're we're getting a little late on time. So let me let me wrap this up here. We got a couple more comments. We've got Techno saying, I think Deli played like six Soko and Jetson uh played in the Ndombele role versus Marine. Bill says hi, what's up, Bill? Um Todd. Todd, what's up, dude? A coachable hundred, a coachable hundred million dollar talent. Is that him talking about Delhi? Let's go. That is it. Yep, yep. That's what that's what uh, he thinks that uh, Delhi needs to be. Mm. And I guess what he what he's hoping Jose is going to turn Delhi yeah. into in this second half of the season is a, a coachable hundred yeah. million dollar talent. Totally. Man, if De- if Delhi can be coachable, oh dude, oof. oh it'll be it'll be insane what's up dude okay bill i would rather have played the final in february than in april yes that was the question of the day thanks for mentioning that bill we threw that in the stream uh in the chat the question of the day was would you rather have played the final in february or in april bill says i would have rather played it in february 
it would have been a good it would have been good to build some momentum we'll end on this uh dakota you know i said at the beginning of the show i feel like it's a it's a bummer that we didn't we don't get to play it i feel like we're in a good good way right now and i feel like man city is finding their footing pretty well and by the end of the season they might be really yeah, steamrolling teams and uh, Regina, which I loved Regina's pushback on that. She goes, yes, but we have the Jose factor. Jose's beaten uh, Man City twice, 2-0. So what do you think? Do you think it's a good thing for us to kind of end the season with those fireworks, hopefully a cup uh, and maybe the Europa League and who knows about top four? Or do you think it would have been better in February? Yeah, you know, I think it was pushed back with the hope that fans would be able to attend. And totally. I think that's kind of just like, as a pipe dream. A pipe dream. Yeah. Honestly. Um, so with that in mind, I've, yeah, let's win a trophy in February and carry that momentum into the rest of the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, but you know, with April's so far away, so, so far away. So yeah. maybe we could be hitting a run of form like city is hitting mm -hmm. right now and they're finding themselves in a rut or an injury crisis totally. or whatever. Yep. So, you know, there's, there's really no, no way to tell. Um, but what, what I do know that is consistent and is true now and mm -hmm. will be true on the 25th of April is Jose Mourinho is our coach yeah. and he does not lose finals. So I'm confident going into it and I, I, I don't care who we're playing. Yeah. Bring us Liverpool, bring us 2011 Barcelona. We're winning this <sighs> Carabao Cup. Dude, I love the confidence. I can't say that I have the same confidence. I, I, <laughs> I wish I did, but I, it, it, and it's maybe because I've just, I just seen seen us lose too many semifinals and finals. But th there is a Jose Mourinho factor, and there is an effect, and I feel it. Like when he first came, I was so uh, disappointed, not because I didn't want to win anything, but just because of his like kind of character and everything like that. But he, yeah, I think he has evolved. I think he has. Uh, I think that, you know, being forced to to not be a manager for a little bit and all that stuff has, has um, I don't know if it's humbled him or anything, but it's definitely made him rethink some things. And uh, I'm looking forward to the final either way, uh, but I, I I don't know. I, I feel 50-50. Sure. I feel 50-50. All right. Um, I, think, yeah, go ahead. I, I think an underlying key to everything is Jao Sacramento. I think he's completely changed – Jose's outlook on counterattacking football. I think he's mm. added an element of modernity that yeah. is carrying us, uh, carrying us through. And I honestly think he's being groomed to be our next manager whenever Jose wants to, wants to leave. Whoa, dude! Whatever, so whoever is watching this, John, you heard it John here Sacramento. first. Dakota is calling it, man. I don't want to even think about changing managers for a while, <laughs> but, uh, but hopefully we get some oh, trophies. No, I think it'll be five or six years. Yeah. But. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Dude. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. And thanks for dealing with all the technical issues and things like that and, and staying on a little bit longer. I really, really appreciate it. Um, super fun uh, every Monday yeah. talking Tottenham and, uh, I've appreciated your audio and sending stuff in. Thanks. So thanks so much for doing it. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Thanks for the pods for shout outs and yes, just uh, being an ex contributor to this awesome community of Tottenham fans, which I'm convinced and no one can convince me otherwise is the best in the world. Dude, I, I agree with you. All right, man. Thank you so much. I'm going to end this call and I'm going to end the stream in just yeah. a second here. Adios. All right. The way he said that, I just feel like, come on, you Spurs. It is just so true. I feel like we've got a great a great bit of supporters. I don't know if you were one of the ones that got to buy a ticket to uh, a virtual ticket for Marine. I did uh, just because I know how much it would mean to to my local club if that were to happen. And and uh, who knows? Maybe you, if you did, you're going to be the manager of, of that team. That would be so cool, that little raffle and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, my quick uh, scoreline prediction. We're playing Fulham now. We're not playing Aston Villa. But I still think either way, um, I would have said 1-0. And I don't like saying 1-0 because I don't really trust us to get that nil. Uh, but that was the score the last time. And I feel like um, I'm a little concerned about us taking taking this game seriously. I know we we just took Marine seriously and I, we took Brentford seriously. But I think the reality is... Um, sometimes we just kind of lose our focus. Um, so anyway, 
that's all for today. I'm seeing some questions about trivia. There's no trivia this week. We're doing trivia every other week. So trivia will be next week. I'm so glad uh, that people are interested in that. Uh, we'll have the leaderboard back up. And I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, potentially do some head-to-head -head and the chat involved. So um, if you want to, like, if you got, like, a creative way of... I don't know, some some sort of virtual rock, paper, scissors to get people to be the two people that are going head to head. We would use StreamYard and we'd see who, who's who got the big brain when it comes to Tottenham trivia and probably the chat will, would be the quickest to do it. Um, but guys, thanks so much. Thanks for following me from, from one stream to the other as well. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. Don't really know what that was. I'm still learning how to do all this stuff. But And, and thank you for the chat. You guys are fun. Uh, Ravager, thanks for uh, giving me some heat about my Ben Davies pick. Todd, it was good to see you. Matt Hayes, thanks again for sending uh, all your wonderful fans. Uh, just like uh, Dakota said, Spurs fans. Come on, you, Come Spurs. on, you Spurs. You're the greatest. As ever, it was great talking with you.